situation. So, guys, they've had four straight losses this season, you know, as of late. What are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, I think the Yankees have an up-and-down season. Uh, they've won a few, and then they've lost a few. So they've been like kind of like bipolar-ish. So Yankees need to look to the future, uh, to next year, because they've had so many injuries and so many problems that they really can't do anything this year. They can't have anything come out of it. There's no consistency. So it's like they score a lot of runs, and then they, and then they still lose. But they don't score a lot of runs, but they still lose. Right. Right now, the Yankees are six and a half behind the Orioles in the division and four and a half behind the wild card. So based on what he's saying and what they've been doing, what do you think? I don't think they're trying to division because uh, the Orioles and the Red Sox are both, I think, 37 and 27. So they need both of them to fall apart to get ahead of the division. But wild card, you know, any team, you know, if you get in the wild card, you win your one game of elimination and then anything can happen. But I think for them, pitching is a big issue, starting pitching at least. Tanaka's been solid and Sabathia has been a surprise. Everyone else has been really inconsistent. Evaldi's had some good starts. Pineda has been horrible. Severino's been horrible. And then you look at that offense, outside of Beltran and you know, Ellsbury has been decent and Castro's had some moments. They've been pretty bad as well. They need a lot of changes. Their best assets are their bullpen. So either you you know trade them or you know become buyers at the on the off season. You know build the roster that way. So neither of you believe they have the roster. Current roster right now is not capable of making a playoff push or winning. They don't have enough talent. No, right now obviously not. Usually around this time you want to change things up. So the easiest way to change things up is to. Insert some youth yeah. or trade. Training. The problem is, is that most of the youth that have come up, who are were supposed to produce, mm -hmm. for example, like Greg Bird, he's injured, he's out for the season. Yeah, exactly. uh, they had Dustin Ackley, who they had traded for last year, who was still young and might have turned around. He's out, he's injured for the season. Yeah. Reznorf, he's right, right now, he's tuning at first base, he's okay, yeah. he's not bad. They just signed Ike Davis, but who knows, he's been horrible for the past couple of years. In the farm system, the Yankees don't have a lot. And most of the people that they have, they've drafted last year, and they haven't been matured enough, or they haven't gone through enough games. And right. There's no type of Chris Bryan, or uh, you know, uh, Mike Trout, or Bryce Harper kind of player, or kind of status player that, you know, will give such a sudden Franchise impact. Franchise player. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. such a sudden impact that, okay, the Yankees will basically, uh, you know, lean behind him and uh, mm -hmm. go forward. The other problem is that injuries have basically torn apart the Yankees. It's like constantly when one person comes up, the other person that goes down, and then the next week later, that same person who came up goes down too. So, something's going on, so they need to fix that issue. Okay, so Anir, what are some possible trade targets that have been rumors, and as well that have not been rumors that you might think is a good idea? Uh, every team needs bullpen. So the only the only guys the Yankees can trade are probably Chapman, Miller, Batanz is a possibility, and Beltran. Mm -hmm. And then starting rotation, you could probably give up Evaldi, Pineda, and those are probably it. So maybe Sabat. I don't think he's gonna take his contract. Who but. would you? Who would you? Who are the players you're looking at that you've heard about or that you? Well, they've talked about Chapman and Miller to the Cubs as an option. They and who would the Yankees get? It would vary. Jorge Soler, it could come the other smaller prospects, but really nothing huge, big, big, you know. They're in that spot right now because they have a bunch of old guys in like all the major spots. Because uh, guys like Aaron Judge, Mateo, Bird, who's hurt now, all guys don't have a spot on the roster because Teixeira is playing first, Ellsbury, Beltran, Gardner are all playing the outfield, and then Headley's at third base. So some of their, those spots, mechanic, catcher, some of those spots are not open for these young guys to even get a chance to play. Because, you know, those old guys have big contracts. They're not going to sit. You know, because they're stuck with all those guys. And then A-Rod DHs. So, you don't even have another spot to just let these guys bat. So, you know, now with five teams getting to the playoffs, they're always going to be in it. They're always going to win three or four games with that last wild card. So, they can always get in. As we get closer to the deadline, we'll be a little more clear of where, what situation they're in. Because, you know, right now they don't have a first baseman. They, they need a first baseman desperately. It's not, it's not normal for the Yankees to be sellers at the deadline. So. Whatever be the trade deadline or the offseason, what do you think is the Yankees' biggest need right now? If you have to pick one part, whether it be starting pitching, bullpen, they're good, unless they trade. Yeah. Batting, that sort of stuff. What do you think they need? Or defense? Youth. Each they need talented youth. youth in general. It's so youth. System. Because Beltran is old, uh, A-Rod is old, Teixeira is old, uh, Sabathia, McCann, uh, Ellsbury, Gardner, all those, that's like, that's like 60, 70% of your starting lineup, you know, roster. Flexibility, and we don't have it. The only guys, Gregorius and Castro have been decent, they're the younger of the group, 
But everyone else is old, so. So, Arslan, is there anyone in the farm system that has promise or that maybe you think that should be brought up because the season's kind of in a, a lapse right now? Actually, when I was uh, looking at last year, and the Yankees were really criticized during the offseason for not even signing a single player during the offseason. They were the only team throughout the major leagues who did not even sign a single player. That looked like, to me, that there was a sign that, okay, we're going to give our youth the chance this upcoming season to basically try to get into, the, uh, you know, get some playing time, try to get some maturity in the major leagues. And this was one of the biggest things, especially last season, which they were talking about about Aaron Judge, about Greg Bird, about Rob Reisendorf, and all the, about Mateo. Yes. Unfortunately, it hasn't turned out this year, and you know, with injuries and playing to their fullest or playing to their potential, it's become a big problem. Players that you get, it's hit or miss. Like I already said, that trading to the Cubs, you know, we should try to get at least a starter. You know, most of the players should be under 25 next year for most of the position. Having almost 70% of your roster over the wrong side of 30, that's not good. You're not. You have. Just for our Yankees fans out there who are probably feeling miserable at how the season's went. So any silver lining for this season that could be drawn at all? Well, the big, I think the biggest surprise see, has been Sabathia. Right. Yeah. His ERA right. is way under three, and he, he's been a big surprise. And he's able he's been able to learn how to pitch and not be a power pitcher and more of a finesse. And, you know, you move the ball around the plate, you know, get to the corners, pitch so that way you right. can, you know. And that would help the Yankees in going forward. You would think with him pitching well, the Yankees would have a better record. Outside Tanaka and Sabathia, everyone else has been really inconsistent. What used to be the, you know, the Bronx Bombers is now just Beltran and a bunch of guys who cannot hit. So, <laughs> you know. Uh, actually, to go back on the point about Sabathia, a lot of people criticized him last year for basically right. almost giving up on the season because he had this alcohol addiction yeah. problem. I think it was one of the greatest things and most important decisions he made in his life because he needed to make sure that he just... Look, he was pitching horribly last year. He probably wasn't in his right mind because he had this issue. He went, he got treatment, and look how well he's doing. For the past two months, he's been the Yankees' best pitcher. Yeah. And he's the number five. He's perfect where he is. At least he's winning games. And at least make sure that, you know, at least if he gets a good, healthy season this year, maybe he can work on some things and, you know, move up the, you know, rotation and right. actually continue the work that he's doing because next year will probably be his last year. So, um, I guess the last thing I want to just touch on is there's been a lot of criticism on Joe Girardi. He, he has won a World Series, but he hasn't done much of his league. Do you feel like they need to make a change there, or is he the guy to keep? Uh, personally, I, the biggest issue I have with Girardi is that he, he doesn't he doesn't trust his starters that much. There are too many instances where the guys pitch 60, 70 pitches, and then he goes to that bullpen a little quick. And, you know, I know he's got Chapman, he's got Miller, he's got Patanzas, but those guys cannot be expected to carry the load every night. If they do that, they're going to get worn out, and, you know, Realistically, you need those guys when the playoffs start. You don't need them, you know, getting through the season. Just pitchers, starting pitchers have got to pitch, you know, further. And I think he's got to start sitting some of these guys. Like, you know, if Brett Gardner, Ellsbury, or A-Rod, any of these guys are not producing, you got to bench them. Play some of the younger guys and, you know, go with it, you know. He'll be given this year and maybe one more year, but that's it, I think. Us Yankee fans, we really don't care how much you spend on a player. If he sucked, bench him. Who cares? Yeah. We have enough money. They shouldn't make an issue about this. Give the youth a chance. At least there'll be some growing pains, but they'll get some experience. That's the most important thing. So maybe they can start producing in the next couple of months. But at least, the good thing is if they get experience now, then they know what they have to do in the winter offseason to make sure that they prepare themselves for spring training and for the uh, 2017 season to basically help produce. Jordan is put in an unfair position because last year they were a surprise team. A-Rod was really producing. Greg Bird came on after Teixeira went out and Severino played well down the stretch and they got in the playoffs. And then this this past summer they didn't spend any money to upgrade the roster. They did trade for Castro. They did trade for Chapman but you know they could have spent some money and you know maybe got another starter another bat in the lineup. All those things they could have done so. But ultimately you need to have the talent right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The talent is kind but of like a you plus. said they're Right. Like yeah. you said though to have that relationship with the player. You guys think they'll make the playoffs, yes or no? No. I don't think so. Um, I'm on the fence. I'm still hoping out yeah, fully out, yeah, but that we lucky if they get the wild card. Okay. I think that I'm making it. Yankees fan or as an analyst? That's the uh...